Welcome back everybody to Nicky Ball 1 and end to Space Engineers. I know it's been a while. I haven't uploaded a video in like four days or five days or so um, because I have no much time to record anything for YouTube. I have so much troubles with other things at the moment in my life. And also for the future, a little announcement. Um, some ships, there will be no more mountain crashes. I tried everything in the last days. I mean, I has, uh, had just little time, so I just tried to fix it maybe. And I have no idea. My, some chips are getting destroyed and some chips are not getting destroyed. But for the chips that are not getting destroyed for the future, they will become uh, something dif different. I have plans to make uh, like a little air battle, so um, space battle with two ships, uh, one versus one. I'm just I'm gonna try how well they are gonna fight each other. Um, but we will see that for the future. It will take some time, so maybe I have more time for videos in the future. Anyway, let's go to the video today. Um, the ship today is called UCSS Sh Shogun Maxwell B Class Heavy Tuck, and it's created by Dolan. Well, here we have the chip. It looks fine. It has an interesting design to it. Overall, it has big engines. I'm gonna fly around. First of all, then I'm just gonna show the inside. I'm also gonna turn on my light on so we can see everything in, uh, also in the dark spots where the sun isn't shining. So in the front, we have here the bridge. Later on, I'm gonna show you the inside of the bridge, but it looks fine. It also looks a little bit safe with all the things around. Many antennas here on some rotors which is also nice well i'm gonna fly overall around from the outside you can't see really what is the ship made of but it has many func uh, functions and i'm gonna show you that so on the back we have the most of the engines and i have to say it's also a very fast flying ship so down here you have just some hangers on the side and also here we can go out but i'm gonna show you that in a moment then from the inside it has really some nice things to it and above we have on the sides we have just some windows so we can look out above we have just some also some more engines well overall it looks fine i'm now gonna fly a little bit away so we can see the ship in the full glory like so and yeah fine so i'm gonna fly now here to the airlock i'm also gonna turn my light off so just take me a second so i'm just gonna open the door go in i need to press a button so we can have, have you now a little of um air so we can go through the doors and yes the doors are getting uh, open automatically but sometimes i have some problems to get through it well, here we have the first room. Here on the back we have just a little lounge room. Gonna go down so we can see the health of the ship. Also we have a little window and in that ship here we have also here the doors on the side. I have seen it also in other ships. It's a nice idea for some windows so we can close them off or let them open. I let them now open here just some seats where we can sit. Also the ship is made without any mods so I have to say that. So some rooms are just empty, but um, you know, in the vanilla ver version, you don't have any furniture. I mean, you have some of them, um, but not that many. So down here, we have just a room. We can see here down in the reactor room. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. First of all, I'm gonna show you on the front. Later, I'm gonna show you the reactors and jump drives and so. But I'm gonna go now, here on the side we have just some uh, cryo cells, uh, pots, and also a medical bay, so here for the crew to freeze, uh, to get frozen. Well, here the medical bay, just a little room on the side. Well, also a window where we can look outside again and just see a turret. I'm gonna continue now on. On the right side, we have here the timer room with some timer blocks. Overall, just a room with some timer blocks. It's the timer room. 
I'm gonna continue now on to the front. This is just the one. This room, I don't know what is uh, really is. It's just one empty room and the front ends in the back. Well, it's just a room. Uh -oh. As you can see, sometimes I have really troubles with that automatic doors that will let me through. Sorry for that. Sometimes I'm just getting stuck in the doors. Maybe I'm too fat for that. Here we have a stairwell, um, but I'm not gonna go down here in the ship now. I'm gonna go now to the front, and as you can see, we are now in the bridge. A bridge uh, the bridge is also very nice, with a big window. Also, we have the controls up here. Also, how well is the ship doing? Everywhere, we have just some monitors. Also, we can go a little bit further and look down, which is nice. So, we have a, a nice and clear a few in the front um, of the bridge, which is fine. And I'm gonna go now to the stairwell where I'm gonna go down so we can see all the, so the other things. And I hope I'm not gonna get loose in that massive ship because, again, it's a massive ship. Um, sometimes I have just uh, problems to find something. Well, here we have just a long corridor. Down we go, just here a timer block and a server on that side, I think in that, yeah, this is now this, uh, the other room. Well, this room is if you're gonna land somewhere, you can go on the platform, press a button and it's gonna lower it down, but I'm gonna show it to you so you can see everything better. So just need a little bit, I'm gonna fly, because sometimes I have just some problems to stay on it. So now the hangar is uh, getting open here gonna fly a little bit away so and now it's gonna lower that down with a piston as you can see to the level where you normally would land like so and it's a nice ad idea for that also if I'm just gonna go on on it and I'm just gonna press up again some I have no idea why I'm gonna glitch through the um through the floor but maybe because i'm in space um but i don't know but it should work well now it's up again and then the hangar is gonna close again so just need to wait a little bit and as you can see they are always automa uh, automatically closing it off again well where we came from i think we came from this direction so i'm just gonna go in this direction here i hope this is right or this is where i came from sometimes i don't know well i'm gonna go now also you can go through here here we can just jump down there's no stairs down here's just a gravity generator some oxygen tanks nothing really uh, important um, to show to you just some little things and now we are down very already rare ever. I'm gonna fly now up here because I don't wanna run all the way back I mean it doesn't take that much time here we have also a stairwell and down a little corridor up here we are also gonna go back but um, I just went that way on that side, yeah, we have just the same things as before. This is just here, the little corridor, and down there. I'm gonna go now all the way, and it leads to the same stairwell if you go up or you go down. Down here, we have also a room with a window to the outside. Uh, we can loop around, but I'm gonna go in that direction, so we have also here just a little room. Uh, nothing really to worry. Please, thank you. So let me through the door. I'm gonna search now where the engines are. Sometimes I have some problems, but I think I'm. No, this is not the way that I wanna go. Is this the way? Now we have here the other medical bay with some cryo pots on the side. But I think I'm near now where I want to go. I'm gonna go now upstairs. Maybe I need to go all the way back and also a little bit further up. So this is 
this is the front where the um, bridge is. So I need just to go all the way here back so we can go to the engine room. All on the here on the back we have the engine room. Gonna go through here. So we can go in here and here we have the reactors. We can look down, it's very high. We have two uh, reactors on each side. Overall nice design to it. We can go also down there later on. Well, on the other side we have also just some uh, reactors like the other two. Up here, we can go here in the middle is a beacon pl place. It's an interesting... Uh, so, anyway, I'm gonna continue now on. Here, up here we have the cargo bay, or better to say, here are all the cargo containers stored. It's also interesting with the lightning. Down we have here just red and up here uh, yellow. So in the middle we have an orange tone to it. It's just a very nice and big room with all the storage co uh, cargo containers. I'm gonna go now back, but uh, because I want to show you um, the uh, what is called uh, um, the jump drives, but I need to sh uh, to find uh, to find it first. Well, I need to go back through here. I think I need to go down here, and I can go down here. Here we have just a little side room. Um, with a window, I'm gonna go. Yes, here we have also just a little room, so we can stay here. But this is where I want to go. This is one of the sides. Here are all the. Oh, I don't want to fall down. Here is all the uh, uh the energy, uh, not the energy, the, the free, uh, what's it called, the power stored for the engines. Um, all the fuel, this is what I want to say. Sometimes I lose my words and I can't find them. I'm gonna go now down here, open here up a little bit more. On the side of here, yes, here are the little hangers. Gonna go. We can also open and close the doors. Yes, now it's gonna get open. All the oxygen is gonna suck down here into the space uh, but you can fit a nice little uh, small ship inside of the hangar here also we have an other hangar on the other side it's just take me a little bit here we have the one hangar and on the other side we have the other hangar also i think we are now just need to go back a little bit okay this is where the um, the hangers are this is nice i'm gonna go now up here through here this is yeah this is just this one way i have no idea also we can go inside of the other outskirts of the ship where are many of the um also fuel tanks are stored and also the gyroscopes are there's nothing really special in here just the many rooms where uh big one big room with all the gyroscopes mm, and now I also need to find the um, jump drive room I have no idea where I can find it if is it here on the back no this is here just oh I think it's here or not no this is just the main also the main fuel room where all the fuel is stored for the engines and also we have on the sides many many gyroscopes so we can hold the ship stable and you can maneuver it uh, good around i think we can go down here and down here he, uh, should be the gyroscope uh, another gyroscope the jump press yes down here we have um eight of the jump uh, jump drives. yes also with some nice uh, nice lights down here in blue so we have four on, uh, on one side and four on the other side well also I think this is now the end of the tour I have showed it uh, shown uh, showed you now all of the inside of the ship and it yeah, was an um, just take 
some time because it's such a big ship so the video will be a little bit longer than normal anyway i'm gonna see you now in a moment where i'm near the planet with that ship so now i'm near the planet yes the game is i have some problems at the moment i have only one frame per second but then it will jump in a little bit into the front also i'm gonna crash the ship in the first person perspective i think this is the best and also some people wanna see that as you can see the ship is flying really fast um, somehow uh, the game isn't coming with it now we are also near 9000 meters where the heat should rise from the outset i hope it's getting a little bit more stable so we can see everything better um, but i also can only hope because uh, as you can see the game is just completely frozen well it's interesting where it's just come came out it's going to be and yes the ship is now on fire i can't see a thing i need to show you the outside well it's on fire but somehow the game freezes every time and then it's gonna go again also we are now near the ground and there will be an impact of that ship it's interesting we are losing a little bit of parts here and they are also on the front well now i think the uh, cockpit is broken off i need i'm um, just trying to rotate my view around but it's a little bit hard because it stops every time i need also to turn my uh, jetpack back on and yes there is the ship coming down i hope i can see the impact Somehow I can't turn my in, uh, jetpack on. Now it's turning on. So please stop now. Well, this is every time. Yeah, this is when if I'm gonna um, crash the ship in not in the first person pers uh, in the pr first person perspective. This is what happened. I can't see the impact of the ship. Well, this wasn't that nice. I'm gonna show you now uh, if the game please stops freezing every five seconds and very fast flying like uh, 1000 meters per second at the moment I will show you the impact of the ship if I can stop please no of course not why why should I stop with my jetpack well there's now uh, something else in the back flying around anyway because of that i will sh make another impact video where um i'm gonna show you the third person perspective uh, perspective this is what happened if i'm gonna um fly ships in the first person perspective into the atmosphere you can't really see a thing because there's just all the things are gone so now i'm near the planet again just now not in first person perspective i'm not gonna uh, fly like that now i'm gonna fly now in uh, third person perspective so we have no problems because i'm also flying it a little bit in the back so i'm not gonna sit in the bridge area because maybe the ship is getting destroyed in the front like before and so we can see also the impact now well we are reaching in any moment 9000 meters and i know there is a little bit of lag it's nothing compared to before but it's still a uh, heavy lagging well the heat will rise in any moment just need time uh, to a little bit of time now the heat is rising i'm gonna go out of that so we can see everything better there will be a little bit of fire yes now we have a little bit of fire on everywhere just area on the complete ship also the impact will be in any moment i think we are also getting a little bit destroyed on the front end now the game freezes like before um yes i can't do a thing about it sometimes the game is freezing sometimes not well we just need to wait until we are reaching the planet so on the front we have a little bit of a damage already again it's still freezing a little bit and i think we are now gonna hit the mountain area down below so it's very fast flying down here will be now the impact of the front of the ship 
I hope it's getting destroyed. And game is loading. I think we are hitting now the front. There is a little bit of a damage. I think the game is loading. I can see everything uh, at the moment. It doesn't look that destroyed at the front. What is going on? What is going on? I can't see what is going on with my camera. Seriously, what is going on? Something break, uh, broken is broken off, I think, on the right side. The engines are completely ripped open. As you can see now, the, all the um, parts are flying around. Also, the ship is not going to settle a little bit down. On the back, it looks like it's getting uh, eaten by the mountain or by the earth. By the planet, better to say. By the ground. And yes, as you can see, the back is now stuck in the, m the mountain area. So the frames are getting down a little bit more now. Well, maybe there's a possibility that I can go out. So this is where I was flying that ship. I'm trying to get out now here. Here is a hole so I can fly out. And as you can see, there's a big damage already. It looks very, very great. Overall, the front is heavy damaged. The bridge area is just completely gone. There's just a door left and some lights. Also, the antennas are just completely destroyed. And on the right side of the ship, we have just lost not the whole side, but ma many of the things. It looks great. Re very, very great. Gonna fly now through here. Down here we have... I mean, there's really nothing left to hold it together. Just little things holding it together. But I'm gonna leave it like that. And it's just really ripped open here. It looks very interesting. I haven't seen that before in other ships. It looks astonishing. Very nice. The back of the ship is still glitched into the ground, looks like it. Interesting, now we have more frames than before, but I'm not gonna... Ah, I think the gear is now locked and this is why the ship is now staying like that. Well, I'm not gonna bother with it. It looks great, it looks like it's merged with the ground in the back. The front we have uh, no crater at all. First of all, I thought there would be no damage at all, but now, as I'm gonna see the ship, there's many of the damage. Well, overall, looks fine. Here we have just uh, completely ripped open. Here is the one of the hangar. Also here, the I think this is the room where the reactor was before, is also completely open. I need to see the other side, but I think on the other side there's still everything intact or not. I think there is anything in everything intact, but I think also it's inside of the ground or merged with the ground. Anyway, I'm gonna fly now a little bit away so we can see the damage better of that impact. Like so. Or better to say like so. And I'm gonna see you now in a moment on in on or or better to say I'm gonna end my video here because I don't have that much time anymore. Uh, and no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna see you in a moment um, in space. I tried to crash the ship before on my mountain base, um, but I had some problems there. So sorry for that. There will be no mountain crash for that ship. Sometimes there will be ships that I can crash. On the mountain base, I hope so, but um, yeah, there's just no way for that for I um, can crash that ship. Well, because of that, I'm gonna see you in a moment in by my old uh, spaceport where I'm gonna fly that ship into the spaceport. So I'm gonna see you in a moment. So now I'm in space again. Well, I'm gonna accelerate now the ship so we can see maybe a nice impact uh, on my spaceport. Sorry again for there's no uh, because there's no mountain crash, but I already told it to you that I have still problems with some bouncing around with some ships. Other ships are not bouncing around, and I can't find why is this happening. Well, so I need to change some things, and also for the new newer episodes there will be something different than the mountain crash. 
about all of that need some time. Well, I'm gonna, as you know, in that perspective, I'm gonna charge now to the um, spaceport. Well, it will need a little bit of time until we are reaching it. Also, the leg is now coming back. Well, here is now the spaceport. We are very, very fast flying. So I'm just gonna look outside. So we have now an impact. Also, I hope the game isn't crashing. Ooh. Yes, it's slowly getting into the spaceport and also we are stopping, I think. Ooh, what is going on? What is going on? Okay, this is not a bridge area, which is completely getting destroyed. I can see a thing. What is going on? What is going on? I need to switch to my that camera here so we can see everything is fine. Not fine here. I mean, what is going on? So the ship is still moving. It's maybe now merging it to the side on of here. Or it stopped. It stopped now. Well, here are just some parts flying off from the front which is also completely destroyed well i need to find now where i'm at so i'm here so this is what is this here i think here on the front should be the bridge area but the bridge area is just completely gone there's really nothing left yes here was the bridge which is just completely ripped away well let's see what the damage is on the ship generally so up here we have lost some cargo containers looks like it also it's a very deep hole where it's just ripped into the ship so and yeah doors are still opening which is fine well i need to see what the damage is on the side here also just some loose parts flying around well here there's just the main damage on the middle on the side of here we have just lost a little bit of parts on the other side ooh, we have lost one big engine also it's very deep ripped open and also up here we have lost something up here we have no damage at all or it looks like it there would be there's no damage at all back there is also no damage well, let's see what the damage is on my spaceport. Overall, I think it uh, it looked uh, it hold nice together. Here we have just lost some reactors in the spaceport. Also, some parts are flying around. The connection is off with the oxygen, but who cares at the moment? Because here is also a very big hole, and it's also completely ripped open. Well, here in the spaceport, just the beginning here is just completely ripped open, but everything else looks fine. Also here the little corridor is ripped open and my spaceport here on the back, it's mainly with heavy blocks. And as you can see, it's, yeah, it's just completely ripped open. Well, 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 looks fine so far. I'm gonna fly now a little bit away again so we can see everything better. Just need a little bit of time. I think I'm gonna fly it like so. So we can see also the ship and the crater in my spaceport. And I'm gonna end my video here. So um, if you want to download, to download the ship for yourself, you can do that. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Also for the speed mod and the re-entry mod, yeah, and I'm gonna see you in my next video, so leave a like if you want, subscribe to me, or leave a comment, that will help me. Yes, so, goodbye!